Hey everybody, Nick Licamelli here on Feel Good Friday. We got Harry Man in the house. Harry, say hi to everyone. Hello. Hello there. You a good boy? You a good boy? Yeah? Alright. Today we're talking about why proper form and proper technique during an exercise is necessary not only for safety, but also for tracking progress. Tracking progress in the gym is one of the most important things we can do. If we're not tracking what we're doing in the gym, how do we know if it's working or not? So number of sets per exercise, number of reps, the amount of weight, how it felt, how you're feeling that day, how you slept, all these things are very important when tracking progress in the gym. If you don't track, again, you don't know if what you're doing is working, but even if you are tracking, if you're not using the same form every time, week after week, then it's inconsistent and the tracking you're doing is irrelevant. So say you wanna track the squat week per week. If you don't use the same form and technique every time so that it's identical, the measurements that you're taking and your recording are gonna be irrelevant because the first week, maybe you used a slower eccentric portion of the rep. The next week, maybe you're a little bit quicker on that eccentric. Maybe the third week, you use a little bit of momentum at the bottom of your squat to kind of catapult yourself up. By changing your technique, you're changing the amount of reps you're gonna get and the amount of weight you could lift. You can get a false sense of either regression or progression because over time, if your form gets stricter and stricter, you're probably going to lift less weight for less reps. And on paper, it may look like you're getting weaker. Same thing in the opposite direction. If you start off with very strict form and then you start getting sloppy, on paper, it's gonna look like you're progressing, getting stronger. But really, you're just getting sloppier and your form is changing. So you're not getting any stronger, you're just changing your form. It's like trying to take a measurement week after week with a different ruler. Or it's like taking progress pictures of, of your physique in different lighting. It's not, you're not comparing apples to apples. Very similar to tracking nutrition. If you weigh yourself week after week, but you don't eat the same macronutrients and calories day per day, then that weight measurement doesn't show you progress. Your daily intake has to be consistent, just like your form has to be consistent on your exercises. I've shot archery my whole life. In archery, form, is everything because you have to be like a machine. Think about a gun versus a bow. A gun, when you aim it at a target and you press that trigger, there's a series of events that happen in the mechanism of the gun, step by step by step in order to shoot that bullet. Then, depending on where your shots are going on the target, you can adjust your sights accordingly. With a bow and arrow, the archer has to be that machine, has to be that mechanism. So if you want to adjust your sights on your bow, you better make sure that your mechanism or your form is consistent every single time. Because if you shoot one out of the bullseye, you don't know if that was because the sight was off or if because your technique broke down. So what I try to tell myself is that I want my first rep to look exactly like my last rep. And the big compound movements like squats and deadlifts, I'm focusing on technique and fatiguing the movement until I can't do it anymore with proper and strict form. So let's take a look at my squat and a Romanian deadlift. And I'm gonna show my first rep and I'm gonna show my last rep. And hopefully they look very similar.
So just remember that proper form is for more than just safety. It also helps you consistently track your progress in the gym. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.